will be interesting to see how they handle such a talented quarterback. Speaking of talented quarterbacks, that's right on cue. Cade Brister's first pass complete. The connection to Peyton. A lot of all-conference talent during their days in the Great Lakes Valley Conference. The first run, a successful run, continuing to preseason all-conference player. Pass by Brister. The reception is made. Impressive catch by Smith as that ball was thrown slightly behind him. First pass by Brister to Rose went for 25. The last one, Smith, ended up being a first. They won four in a row. Tech bringing pressure. Brister airs it out. It'll go incomplete. Here at Tucker Stadium. Brister, offensive line doing a good job. Brister rolling. He's going to get sacked. Kale Dava brings them down. Golden Eagle side of the field. So here's the first punt of the afternoon. That's Riley Ripper with Quavell Thornton back. This one will end up Memphis. First play for Tech, far side, pass is complete. Whole host of line, 45 to go in the fourth quarter. And that Tech win at EIU. First one went for four, now Metrius Fleming on an end around. He'll Golden Eagles move the chains, that's Pegues in motion. Oats fall over the middle. Another catch is made by Clark. Into Lion Tech. Get the first down, move on. Tempo now for Tech. Pagese, the freshman, a near side carry. Trying to force his way to the 40. Backfield. Oats fall. He will end up giving it to Pagese. Pagese fighting his way for a couple of yards. Oats fall. All oh, the pitch to Giss. He's going to have running room for the first. What a brilliant play call there. First drive after Lindenwood was forced to punt. Again, it's Metrius Fleming. Fleming across the 30, nearing the 20. It's a third and three. Oatsfall swings it. Pegues catching. He's got a first down. Justin Pe Six minutes left, opening quarter. On a lengthy Golden Eagle drive. Now Clark gets a carry. Second and ten. Oats fall, stepping up. Oats fall will run. Nice run by Jeremiah. Evan. It is a third down and three. Oats fall, throwing, and it's incomplete. Ready on the drive. A fourth and three. Oats fall, rolling, throwing, pass incomplete. Not always the easiest thing to translate from different levels of competition, but he's been able to do just that, including inning pedigree. Not always the easiest thing to translate from different levels of competition, but he's been able to do just. Brister, he'll keep it himself. Samari Burns, the first one there. It's William Jewell. So another dual threat signal caller. All sorts of time, it's running out, and another sack. Riley Ripper punting. Quavel Thornton. This one is angled toward the Golden Eagle sideline. Does take Jeremiah Oates fall. His pass going deep. Brad Clark. It is an incompletion. But Lindenwood stopped him on a fourth down. So Tech's second drive again. It's an end around. This time Willie Miller first time he's touched it. It's Tennessee Tech looking at a third down and three. Javian Allen wide open. He'll have the first down and a whole lot more. First time we see the level. And he'll get his first carry of the afternoon. Turn the corner. As he ends up getting nudged out of bound right. David Giss will get the carry. Hemmed in the backfield. No play of quarter number one. Oates fall. Looking. Gist. He's got the catch. He's got. Big game at Eastern Illinois. That is his fourth receiving touchdown of the season. And Hayden Olsen. Much success as you could have hoped for, I would say. And anything else that you get from this point on, it's just gravy. Well, that'll be the first carry of the afternoon. Cade Brister, one of only four quarterbacks in FCS football, averaging 300 passing yards per game. What a catch that was. Officials, they do such a great job with so many different jobs. Third and one. This pass is caught. It'll be a first down. J Rhodes stays in the backfield. See if he'll get his first carry. No, it's Brister, the QB keeper. Nice run on first down from behind. Brister gets six, second, and four. 
Time starting to run out. He's rolling. He's throwing. He's got a first down. As that can to find the open receiver. What a nice drive, Brewing. Brister throw. Catch made. That's Peyton Rose. Rose gets it inside the 10. Inside. Logan Cyber to try to tie the game. The Lindenwood response is a bit. A lot of fireworks just yet. We'll see if Peyton Rose has gotten them started, though. O.J. Ross, he gets his first carry. Another talented freshman moves the pile. Let's see if he has. Oatesfall will look to throw, and he dumps it down right to Ross on the shovel pass. Nifty little. Dylan Petty, the tackle, gain of five. Another O.J. Ross carry, and O.J. Ross first down. He's in to I can't eat, like a cat maybe? I mean, maybe that's how a cat feels. Oats falls pass. There's two Golden Eagles in the area. So B, and you're going to try and make a play on it. Second and 10 at the 47-yard line. There will be a flag on the play. Oats fall the year. He's in the backfield. Oats fall climbing, running. Jeremiah Oats fall leaping and lost the football. Lindenwood offense scored the last time they had the football. A big time run into Tech Terry. At the 48, Brister steps up, goes down. The Golden Eagles get a set on the year. It's pretty good for a safety. Really good at blitzing. More pressure, another sack. That is the f Lindenwood is. Design draw, the QB keeper. So, Pence. Is able to force a stop. We're going to see the Riley Ripper punt. Thornton back. Takes a bounce. Good Linden for this game for some reason. Yeah. I think it was one of those scenarios where the decision for Linden. That was a three-yard catch by Giss on the shovel pass. This is a design quarterback run. Oatesfall diving near the first. Too, too much more often here as they can schedule things out a little bit more ahead of time. But yes. David Gisk. Oates fall hands off to Quinton Cross. Another Golden Eagle receiver gets the football and a very nice run. Gets a first. Yeah, kind of showing. So Quinton Cross the first down. Now David Gisk gets the carry. Explodes to the far side. Let's watch David Gisk. He might be able to get to the end zone. He gets tripped up. Stay the edge. And I'm going to say this without knowing it, Dylan. But I'm going to say that's a career long. But Kurt, Kurt Warner, I mean. Yeah. Kate Brister, another pass completion. Lindenwood is it. Looks good. I have not seen it. I've heard pretty solid things, though. We'll give you an update later if we see it. Is Kobe Smith. Let's see. Is that's a pretty big, big, big time opponent to have a touchdown against this year. Former school as the carry by Jared Rhodes. That's a leading 14 to 7. Here come the Lions. Brister with an opening. Let's watch the quarterback run for the first Fallon. Trying to guide the Lions back with an incompletion. Cam Hudson, Trace Danley, and Jiren Gilmore are out for this game with injuries. Over the middle, there's the catch, there's the touch. Seven. Rose earlier, Smith now extra play right here at Tucker Stadium. NC Central comes to town. Ground game, Allen. Bunch formation, Ross in motion. It'll be Oates fall to keep. He'll go down. Lindenwood going to get the today. It's it's a sight, that's for sure. So it's a low liner. Smith will call a fair catch. Five, 29-yard catch by Smith. The first play of this possession. Line of the ball. Second and seven. Brister eludes the rush. To the near side, Brister reaches the foot. Right. I don't even know how to respond to that. Oh, Brister ends up keeping it. Gets flipped. I always worry when your quarterback's flying in the air, not looking like he has a lot of control of his body, but he, he's just fine. Takes the shot deep. Length. Two today. Extra point. Side. See how aggressive Tech will be. First play, it'll be a run all, a little trickery for Tech. Quinton Cross turning the corner. Nice run by Co. Oh, why not continue it in today? Oats fall over the middle. That one is caught by Thornton. He's going to get a first down. Qualvel Thornton. I have to get into field goal range. 
Or searching for more Oats fall pressure again. He's able to throw it away. Bolden did touch him, so he's interfering with the attempted pass to begin with, but always nice to have that. On the play clock. Jeremiah Oatsvall throwing, and it's dropped. A lot of time left with a minute 12. Brister, pressure, eludes the rush. Brister will throw it away. To that backfield, because they are still getting back there. Brister, again steps up, pass complete. First down, he goes back to 20 miles an hour. Seibert's career high is 50, it came last year. A reception is made by Spence on Red's first catch. Brister again avoids the rush. Brister, he'll throw the pass is caught. It's an easy name, Dom. Dom gets the first. A sack has the football. There's a pitch to OJ Ross. Ross trying to get out of bounds. He'll officially marked at the 41, so it is a second down and six. Oates ball goes to Thorne. He'll get tackled. Ready for the pass. And Oates ball creates some space. He will throw it to Fleming. A lot of lines in front of him. Metrius Fleming still with the football. Here goes Metrius Fleming. And it's going to go to JV and Allen. It gets hit almost like a wall. Allen will field the short hop and get it across the 20s. Oates ball. Threw for 132 yards in the first half. The attempt is caught by Clark. Here goes the rush past the 30-yard line. Maybe you have a lead. You're going to be a lot more comfortable running the ball a lot more. It's over 200 yards rushing. Tech keeps it on the ground again. Oh. On a second and six. Another carry for Fleming. His fourth of the game explodes for the first down. Just gets it off. Oates fall. He will give it to JV and Allen. He is hemmed up, stopped in the backfield. Oates fall. He'll look to throw. He's got Clark again. It'll set up a third and manage. Third and four. Oates fall. Quarterback keeper. The first down and a whole lot more. Oh, what a block by Clark. Oates fall. Darting to the end zone. He's in. Two receiving yards. Three catches. Two for scores. And they will go right back to the air. Kobe Smith, that is his fifth of Tech football this season. Does it ever bother you or confuse you when you watch Nyquan Washington playing with those gold shoes? Could be a flag on the play. Uh, maybe. Good Third and short. Brister will be a first down where forward progress is. Again, going. It was Jacquez McGowan the very first game of the year at Kansas. Brister calls his own number. A nice run on. Second down and nine after the penalty. Brister will go down. More Golden Eagle pressure. And coming right at me like that. No, not at all. And it will be another sack. The Technically, no serious history. I'm a big history buff. <laughs> so I guess we're making history today. Yeah, the, the serious history with O.J. Ross. Gain of 11. Willie Miller, he's going to throw the football. He's got a man wide open. That's Ross who catches it. And Ross will get tripped up. Oatesfall tosses it to him, and then he throws it. Just a spectacular play call. For the lead, Ross trying to get into the end. Grand scheme of things, Golden Eagles punch it in on the next play, so we'll see if Lindenwood can answer. Peyton Rose gets his first carry. He is met by Josh Relliford at the 30. It'll be a second down and five. Brister throwing, reception made, making the move for the first down. See some California fair amount. Yeah, you know, they got a couple from Hawaii. There's a state that they do not have a player from that would stun you. As the carry will be Brister, calls it Giamo. Last year's GLVC freshman of the year. Brister, a first of thought. I knew the Golden Eagles have some success on the ground. They've kind of turned that into a little bit more than I would have expected. Brister had it though. Gained overall, so... He's run for a lot more than what it looks like. Been sacked seven times. Another handoff. Busting it out wide on the carry. Rhodes for a... Rhodes, healthy dose of him. 
You know, I'm very tempted to just yell out there. One minute remaining. It's Brister's pass is caught. It's a good tackle by UE, the top two seeds in the tourney. Brister, he'll throw toward the end zone, wide open, and a Seibert for the tie. Again, squared away. The only loss during that stretch to these Lions. Reception made. It's really good efficiency on both sides. Quick pass, David Giss. He's not going to get the first down. A lot of offense, a lot of points, a lot of entertainment. First play, the Lindenwood drive to a Hall of Fame induction ceremony last night. Another carry by Rhodes. They have called his number an awful lot. D. Martin, that's a place that doesn't, they have not lost a lot of home games there. Taking a shot deep for Fleming. Juggled around. Ball game. Golden Eagles trying to win two in a row for the first time this year. Gist has some running room. David Gist a first down. First down play. With some patience, David Gist. Nice cut. Gist working hard, but a whole hose left in the game. Pass is caught. Thornton's got a first down. Let's watch the freshman go. Not down for the Golden Eagles. Tech on the move. Oates fault. Another one that's completed. Again. Tech knocking at the door. Javian Allen. He's got a burst of steam. Nearing the 300-yard mark in terms of rushing. Looks like they might have a chance to get it here. Brad Clark working. And seven against Kennesaw State. There's Oatesfall. Did he break the plane? Snap this, get into the end zone. Quarterback keeper dives over the top. Date and Parker on. The Tennessee Tech lead. Now Brister's turn. First, a carry along the near side. I should say. Brister's throw, the catch over the middle. Forward progress will end up being effective. But at the same time, that might be an opportunity to try out a couple different other options in, in the run game. Like it kind of throws his body around like it, makes those smart decisions. The toughness element. That's a Rhodes going in motion. Brister, he'll look to run. Bit of an opening before the slide. Half minutes, so if you're Lindenwood, you know you're going to have to go for it if you can't convert here. Golden Eagles bringing some pressure. Brister steps up. He's got a chance to get the first down. Brister has it by Brister on a third and long. Ball's on the ground. He ends up picking it back up. Brister, he's going to be sacked yet again for Lindenwood. Cade Brister rolling. Cade Brister throwing. It'll be a first down. The way the defense has kind of struggled to stop the run. Brister rolling. Brister's got some space. Third down and four. Brister, more pressure. Brister looking to run yet again. He will get rush an additional 16 times. He moves the chains. He's looking to run. Another rush by Brister. Doing it all on even yet again. Tech with pressure. Pass is complete and into the end. Well, here we go. Brister rolling. Brister pressure. He's going to have to throw. The pass is incomplete. There to be some scoring. There was a ton of that. 